For more than 20 years, The Ed Sullivan Show brought music, comedy, and entertainment to millions of people's homes. But guess what? Behind the amazing performances and big smiles, there were hidden secrets, mistakes, and scandals that shook the world of showbiz. So, come along with us as we spill the beans on The Ed Sullivan Show, revealing stories that were kept under wraps for years. Get ready for the inside scoop on this iconic show. A message from the king. There's a story that says, after the Beatles rocked the Ed Sullivan show, they got a surprise message. People say it was from the famous Elvis Presley. But, surprise, it turns out it was actually sent by Colonel Tom Parker, Elvis's manager. Behind the scenes, it seems there was some tension between the two big acts. People talked about jealousy and competition. When George Harrison found out the truth, he joked, Elvis who? It was a playful response. But maybe it hid some not-so-friendly feelings. Some folks think Colonel Tom wanted to steal Beatles fans or just create some drama. The Beatles got paid. While many performers on The Ed Sullivan Show were happy to perform for the chance to be seen by a lot of people, the Beatles were smart and asked to be paid for their performance. This was unusual at the time and it helped them financially when they really needed it in their career. Not everyone thinks it's fair to work for exposure without getting paid. As the saying goes, you can't use exposure to pay your rent. There are some situations where exposure might be valuable for artists, but for the Beatles, who were already becoming famous worldwide, getting money for their performance was a clever decision that brought them many benefits. Bob Dylan wasn't feeling it. In 1963, Bob Dylan got a big chance to perform on The Ed Sullivan Show. He wanted to show his special folk music to a lot of people. But when he went to practice, the people in charge told him to sing a different song, not the one he wanted, talking John Birch, Paranoid Blues. Dylan didn't like this at all. He was known for doing his own thing with his music and didn't want anyone telling him what to do. So, without thinking twice, he left the show and quit. This moment became really famous in the history of music. It showed how much Dylan cared about his music and didn't want others to control or change it. Jim Morrison's Act of Rebellion When the Doors sang their popular song Light My Fire on a TV show, the producers asked them to change a line in the lyrics. The line was supposed to be, Girl, we couldn't get much higher. But they wanted it to be, Girl, we couldn't get much better, instead. Jim Morrison, the lead singer, didn't want to give in to the request. During the performance, he kept the original line and even emphasized it. This bold move might have cost the band future appearances on the show, but it also made them known as rebels in the music industry. Although Morrison's refusal caused some controversy, it was nothing compared to a later incident at a concert in New Haven. There, he got arrested on stage for indecent exposure and lewd behavior, making it a more infamous event in The Doors' history. The Rolling Stones rolled over. Jim Morrison didn't back down, but the Rolling Stones took a different path. On January 15, 1967, when asked to change the title of their song Let's Spend the Night Together for a TV show appearance, the band agreed, though not without a touch of rebellion. Whenever they reached the altered part of the song, Mick Jagger and bassist Bill Wyman couldn't resist rolling their eyes. Earlier in 1964, Mick had annoyed the show host Ed Sullivan by refusing to wear a jacket during their first appearance, but they later gave in and wore jackets for their next 1965 performances, eventually appearing on the show six times. Sullivan wasn't sure about Elvis. When Elvis Presley first became popular, Ed Sullivan wasn't sure about having him on his TV show. He thought Elvis's hip movements were too naughty for the evening. But when Steve Allen had Elvis on his show and got more viewers than Sullivan, things changed. Ed Sullivan saw that lots of people liked Elvis, so he decided to have him on his show too. This showed how being liked by many people and having good TV ratings are really important in showbiz. Ed's memory wasn't the best. Ed Sullivan was famous for hosting a great show and bringing in big stars. However, he wasn't always good at remembering names. Once, he introduced the Three Stooges as the Ritz brothers by mistake, 
This made the audience laugh, and I'm sure it left the Stooges a bit confused. Never crossed Ed. Ed was really good at entertaining people, but he was also known for holding on to bad feelings. If you ever upset him, you could end up in trouble. Ed's beef with Buddy. Ed didn't like some artists, and he made sure they never showed up on his TV show. One time, he had a big problem with Buddy Holly and his band, The Crickets. Ed didn't like the words in their song, Oh Boy, and told them to sing a different song. But Buddy Holly said no. So, when Ed introduced them on the show, he said Buddy Holly's name wrong on purpose, and even turned off his guitar during the performance. It was Ed Sullivan showing he didn't like certain musicians and wanted things done his way on his show. A close call that nearly ended it all. Ed Sullivan's show was famous for exciting performances, but sometimes they got a bit too exciting. Take the time when Animal Trainer brought his act with 40 lions and tigers to the stage. It was expected to be a wild show. However, during the live performance, one of the big cats suddenly charged at Beatty, making him take serious actions. To regain control, Beatty had to shoot blank bullets at the cat, while the audience watched in shock. Meanwhile, Ed Sullivan tried to keep things going by introducing some famous guests, but it was clear that things had gone off track. Fortunately, no one got hurt in the incident but it served as a strong reminder of the risks of live entertainment. Jackie Mason had a lot of nerve. On October 18, 1964, Jackie Mason, a comedian, was doing a live show. While performing, Ed, the person in charge, showed Jackie that he had only two minutes left on air by holding up two fingers. Instead of getting upset, Jackie made a joke out of it by pointing his middle finger towards Ed, but not touching the other fingers. This made Ed really mad and they had a confrontation backstage leading to the end of their contract. Jackie said he didn't mean to be rude and took Ed to court for saying otherwise. In the end, Jackie won the case. Two years later, Ed said sorry on TV. But when Jackie imitated Ed during another appearance, he was never invited back to the show. Sullivan's Stiffness Explained Even though everyone recognizes him as a great host, Ed was often overshadowed by his musical guests when it came to stage presence. He would sometimes mess up his lines and move awkwardly with his arms tightly folded. Comedians liked to make jokes about his stiff style, copying how he stood upright and turned his whole body instead of just his neck to look to the side. It wasn't until later that people found out Ed Sullivan had a condition called ankylosing spondylitis an old disease that's only recently caught the attention of doctors and researchers. 